A section of members of parliament from across the political divide have formed a forum to promote the objectives of the new security laws. The Usalama Kenya Forum seeks to demystify the new laws which have been termed by the opposition and the civil society as draconian and retrogressive. The forum has defended the act which was signed into law by the president recently, terming those against it as misguided. The politicians insist the law is the best instrument to help the government as it deals with insecurity. The law is not new. It simply rationalizes existing security laws to enable the government deal with the new security threats posed by terrorism. It is the best instrument of security and bastion of fundamental human rights, particularly the right of life and property in the age of terrorism. The members of parliament also condemned their colleagues who became rowdy on Thursday during a special sitting to pass the bill saying they were not genuine as a raft of amendments had been agreed on a day before. And there was consensus at the end of the day uh, to delete the excessive uh, areas where people had a lot of uh, concern. Uh, unfortunately, when we went uh, to the parliament on Thursday, we noticed that it was now politics. In play. They cited various clauses which, if implemented, will help in the fight against terrorism and general insecurity. According to them, the ball is not draconian and only strengthens existing laws. They say it will enable security officers detect and deter attacks, protect the victims of terror, and protect the refugees and asylum seekers. <laughs> hii sheria inaguza upande ya leba tumeweza kuita uh, CS tumeweza kuita wale wote wanaohusikana na mambo ya leba ndio tuweze kuuliza kama hii sheria ni mzuri na waliweza kuja ku contribute na wakatupatia ile njia tunaweza kurekebisha na tuendelee kusaidia Kenya The opposition has written to go to court to block the new law saying they are unconstitutional